Massive trip to the thrift video today, guys. I'm out with Courtney today. Usually, she would be doing the listing and the shipping for me. If you guys aren't aware, Courtney's been working for me part-time for the last two months. But today, I'm gonna take her out and uh, we're gonna do some thrifting. And hopefully, I can teach her what to look for and fingers crossed she can find a few cool things herself. We're gonna be aiming for 50 items and we're gonna be trying to sell them onto eBay for a profit. So, let's dive into the first thrift store and fingers crossed we can have a big day. thought these were Doc Martens, but they're not Doc Martens. Even though they've got the stitching, we've been deceived. Look at the, look at the little tag there. There's no Doc Martin on that. So that's a shame, because $18, $18 would have been a great price point. Can't do it. Found these Critical Slide Society surf hats. I'm always trying to pick up my hats. They're actually brand new as well, all four of them. And $35 recommended retail. But the price point, 10 bucks so i don't think we're going to be able to do this but i mean you'd absolutely be able to sell that for about 30 dollars and four of them would have been good if they were worth about five bucks but they're not they're worth 10 bucks <laughs> oh now these are good these are really good do you want to grab those is it? yep they are they are great 15 i think we'll go ahead with that yeah footy boots at this time of year is a very good thing to be picking up and now there's some really good nike tempos um, so we'll go ahead with those. They could be good too, maybe. No, eco, no, probably not. Small size too. Um, 20 on them. It's funny, they're $20. They're how much? 15. 15. They're a better footy boot than those. So that goes to show, no one knows, no one knows pricing, no one knows what they actually are. $30 on those. That's terrible. goes for 20 but it's a four disc set so we were missing one missing a them. disc that sucks because that's that's a great show and that's season six as well um so if you can find that in multiples um you'll do well we found these two as well season one and two but, but it's seven dollars how much was it going for only like 15 i think 15, 15. 20, 15 yeah yeah for seven yeah so 15 to 20 and seven there's nothing in that all right, so the first store down and we've just got one pair of footy boots for $15, which should go into about 50 or 60, so that's pretty good. Uh, we've got another store just up the road here, so we're gonna rip in there now and hopefully we can find more because we still need another 49 items. Alright, so we've just found these, which could be a pretty good buy. We've got 20 years worth of the Guinness World Records. So 2002 all the way up to 2022, and they won $75 for it. Now, 20 books, there were some comps on eBay for $220 for a set of nine, and then there was a set of two. How much was the set of two? $49.95. $49.95 for, that was uh, 2020 and 2021. So we've got all of, we've got a big allocation here. My only issue is how much it's going to cost to ship it all off. But I think at seventy five dollars, say we sold it for two hundred and twenty bucks, I reckon there's going to be a pretty decent amount of profit. Do you reckon we should do it? Two thousand and eight to two thousand and nineteen was one hundred and fifty seven. Yeah, and then there was a thirty five there for three. Yeah. So I think I think you can. Do like three listings out or two? I even if it was one big listing, you could account for say ten dollars a book. Yeah. I reckon off those sort of rough numbers, like three for thirty-five. That one yeah. there is about fourteen for one hundred and fifty. So I reckon we could do two hundred to two hundred and twenty. And at seventy-five. Very heavy. Throw it on. Have you got the e-profit app? So, so go go two twenty sold. Shipping. No. shipping charge zero. Shipping cost, let's say it'll cost 50 to ship it. And then the item cost, it's 75. So that means we should make 66 profit. Why is it not? Where is it? What's that? Where does it say profit? Up top. Oh. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> I don't know. 66 bucks. Sorry. That's pretty good. Do we wanna do we wanna spend 75 to make 66? 
Would you? Do you reckon that's good? Yeah. They're good condition. They are in, they are in good nick. It is a listing and you will make money from it. Yeah, let's... We'll come back to it once we We'll keep having a look, but I don't think it's going in the next two minutes, but we'll, we'll see. So we've got, this is a pretty good store. We've got DVDs for a dollar. Yeah, downtown Abbey, if you've got a few. One to three. One to three? Yeah. One to six, 37. 37, and there's no more there. It's just sitting. We just found this, actually. Guinness Book of World Records. It doesn't complete the set, but 1982. This one is a 1982, it's just a different cover. Oh, it's a special edition. But this one was... How much? Oh, 14. But what if the one under it, though, 1983, that one only sold for $6. So maybe it's actually not worth. Yeah. We just, there's there's basically just a bunch of other ones here. And they're all double ups except for this one. We've got the year 2000. And what did you say it was? It was. That one was 35. 35. Mm -hmm. So maybe we could do that one as an individual listing. Yeah. The only issue is, though, it's a little bit ratty and then that's pretty bad on the back so like condition of book is not great so the books in here are three dollars so this would be a three dollar purchase should we do it your call you're the chief yeah we're doing it yeah. how you going good, how are you? i'm good i was just curious on the books i was wondering if you could do a better price so instead of 20 yep Oh, we could probably let him go for 60. Let's do it. Okay. That. That's awesome. Let's get rid of them. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> get them out of your hair, eh? So we need, might be able to so we can get a box. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Appreciate your help. Okay, okay. So I think 60 bucks is pretty good, eh? Yeah. That's a good deal. We said there was going to be about 65 profit. Did that add, just happen then? We can add another. So it's probably going to be about eighty dollars profit selling them as a bundle for two twenty. <laughs> now to pick them up. Nervous about how much that's going to cost to ship. Oh, you're a star. $2 each on these ones because they giveaways anyway. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> we just found these. A pair of Reebok and the Cardi B. Cardi B Reebok trainers. Pretty much like new as well. And they're only, they're only $20. Pretty cool. They go for about 60, 70, I think. It's a lot though, isn't it? 20. We'll take them with us and we'll decide. I think they go for about 60 or 70, so 20 could be, could be a good grab. You really want to try and find like surf brands. Corduroy. Not uh, yeah, yeah, probably not. Probably not cold. What have we got there? No. Crumb and Wildlife Sanctuary. That's a cool, like, sport hack, go well. Rugby World Cup 2003. Don't think so. The only one that I liked initially was um, that Brisbane Lions one that you had. That one right there. So it's a vote. Oh, it's a member's hat. It's probably not. I never like to pick up member's hats. Why is that? They're just so common and mass produced. <laughs> All right, this little pocket that we've just arrived in, we've got about three or four different stores to get into. So with 14 items so far purchased, We've still got to find another 36 and we're pretty much halfway through the day. So let's keep charging. We really kind of need a big haul. Yep. This store, this store here. 
Uh, we've been able to find, look, actually what I should say first of all is that you would go into this store, I think most people would go into this store and they would see price points for DVDs like $5, there it is there, Joey for five bucks. And you're probably not gonna put in the time and the effort to go through and scan it. We did that. We actually put in a stack of time. And we came away with a bunch of really good stuff that were worth 20, 30 to $40. And at $5, it's just worthwhile going ahead with it. Even though it's typically a really high price for DVDs, if they convert for that much money, the profit's certainly there. So this one here, Joey, that one really surprised me. We scanned that one up and that was worth about 25 bucks. Um, Hannah Montana, whenever I see anything Hannah Montana, I'm always picking her up. Um, that one goes for about $13 to $15. Uh, music Machine as well. Uh, that one there was a $2 price tag and it went for about $20, so high five. Some of them could be pretty rare. It's hot. Um, the Flintstones as well, that one goes for about 20 bucks too. And then we've got Bratz, uh, Passion for Fashion and Diamonds, the collection. That one goes for about $15. So some huge money in that. And then we had some video games that we found within the DVDs as well. Another Bratz. This one actually goes for 40 there's a few for 40. Yeah, so, and I think, I think I've sold that one before. Yeah. So it's pretty crazy. With the manual. Had the manual too, yep. Um, and then this one was, was it 25 or 15? 15, I think, that yeah, one. Yeah, with the manual as well. Yeah. So a dollar. So I love obviously finding the video games that have the, the manual. You can just mark them up as complete. Um, so 15 and 40, that's $55 in video games. But the best part about it was, I went up to the cash register and I put Little Big Planet, that one there, it only had a dollar as the price tag and I put it on the top of the pile and the lady at the checkout just counted them all up and she gave us all for a dollar each. So we actually paid $7 to get our hands on what is anywhere between $100 to $120 worth of value. So seven new listings are up to 21. We've got 29 to go. Let's get back in there. Just found a pair of Kairis for $10. A massive heel burn in them. That sucks. So I reckon they, these are pretty crazy. $3 each. $3 each and there's a bunch of them. But then we found all of these, which are the AFL football team. And there's some NRL ones in here too. I think we'll, uh, I think we'll have to go ahead with all these. One, two, Four, Thanks. five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I got 15. Okay. 15 in total. I only came in today. Check it out. Is that a Cobra? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
gonna have to pass, but pretty cool find. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, it looks like there's a lot in here though. Yeah. Might have to spend a little bit of time in here. I think we might have saved the best for last, guys. Check out this massive haul that we've been able to pick up. Donkey Kong Country Returns. That one goes for about $35. It's complete with manual. So to find that Wii game hiding in the DVDs, I always love to find it. Halifax, uh, this one here, goes for about $20. Go into a small satchel, so not too bad there. Uh, Blue Bloods. Now, I've picked this one up. I just picked the three seasons. Uh, uh, seasons 8, 9, and 10. So it's going to always be an extra on the resale value. And then the final season, again, another perfect example here of Hawaii 5 0. That one goes for about $20. NCIS, I've picked up some latter seasons of that show as well. So that was good to find. Uh, and then this one here, you wouldn't believe it, but um, the High Five, the original cast members, they go really well. So that goes for about 60. I've already sold this one. This sold same day, brand new for $50. Wallace and Gromit, the collection. That is a big, big bowl I wanted to find. Uh, this one as well, Fringe, really good TV show. Five seasons. Again, I'm buying the last season of this one. Goes for about $30, believe it or not. Uh, Heartland was a really good $15 to $20 pickup. And then the last one to round it out, item number 50 of the day. Madam Secretary, complete season. Goes for about $60. It's been a big, big day. So there you go, guys. Stoked for Courtney to be able to find that one. Uh, $2 into $90. Pretty cool when you're just starting out. So hopefully that can go on to sell for it pretty quickly. Remember to subscribe to the channel, guys. It'd be awesome to get you on board if you're yet to hit that little red button. And uh, if you missed this video right here, it's my greatest ever thrift find and it's sold for some outrageous money. So go and check that one out. Appreciate you being here for this one. We'll see you soon.